G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make this easy hot water bottle cover. It's also called a hottie in some countries but here we call it a hot water bottle. It's great for winter months and especially if that snow is falling outside. It is rated as an easy pattern. There is a written pattern located on my website. The links that you need are in the description box. In this project we will be using Red Heart Yarn and redheart.com is a great place to buy yarn and also to get inspiration for your next project. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies we're going to need some yarn. I'm going to be using worsted weight yarn. This is also equivalent to a 10 ply. We are going to need approximately 100 grams. These are 200 gram balls and you're going to need approximately half of one of these. This is also about 3.5 ounces. I am just going to use the colour blue today because I think that goes nicely with the hot water bottle. You could use scraps for this project. This is a hot water bottle. It didn't cost me very much. From memory, I think it was about 7 or $8. It's just from the cheaper shops. We call them cheap shops or $2 shops. You might call them the dollar store, um, something like that. I'll just measure it so you can see how big this is, even though I will show you how to actually make yours to fit your hot water bottle. So it's about seven and three quarter inch. It's about seven and three quarters, or approximately 20 centimeters across. From here to the bottom is 27 centimeters or 10 and a half inches and from the top to the bottom about 33 centimeters or 13 inches and this is those rubber ones these are really good for winter my best friend in winter so I'm going to put that aside for a moment you're going to need a yarn needle with a large eye a pair of scissors and we're actually going to use two crochet hooks in this pattern because we want to make the top of the hot water bottle cover we want it to to narrow because you know how the top of the hot water bottle goes narrow we want to use it up we're using the smaller crochet hook up here to make it go narrow and it looks really good so I am going to be using a 5.5 millimeter this is also a eye size crochet hook this is what the yarn recommends. Then I'm also going to have one which is a 4.5 millimeter or a seven and a half US. And this is what's going to make it narrow. So whatever hook size you decide to go with, you can also use double knit or eight ply with this project. But if you're going to use double knit or eight ply, I would probably recommend a four millimeter crochet hook and maybe a three or a three and a half millimetre crochet hook. We just want one that is smaller than the other. So this one, the top one, is what's recommended for the yarn. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our yarn and we're going to make a slip knot. You can do this whichever way you feel comfortable. And we're going to grab the bigger crochet hook so we're grabbing the bigger one the multiple for this pattern is four so that means four chain one two three four is it wide enough uh, definitely not so another four one two three four one two three Four. we're going to keep going until this chain is wide enough for our for the bottom of our hot water bottle now you will notice that the bottom of the hot water bottle is narrower than the sides so if that's the case like mine and it does on our second round it does get a little wider so if yours is completely square then make it just a little tiny bit smaller so if if you can see how wide my chain is it's just that little bit smaller than the sides and that's what we're aiming for 
and I have 24 chains so once you've got your chain just mine is as big as the bottom because mine gets wider as it goes up but that's fine because on the second round of this project we actually increase slightly so it is going to get uh, it is going to get a little bit wider and then after your second round if you find that you put it on the bottom of your your um hot water bottle and it's too small then just start over and, and and do that but don't forget crochet stretches so it will stretch a little as well so popping this aside what we want to do is so into the fifth chain from the crochet hook don't count the one on your hook one two three four and five we're going to half double crochet into the next chain we're going to work a half double crochet and also in the next chain so the first row of this project we don't actually do the three stitches into the one space so then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip one chain and we're going to half double crochet in the next And it will be fiddly because it's our first row so it's all small to hang on to into the next two stitches we're going to work a half double crochet we're going to chain one skip one so skip chain into the next one we're going to work a half double crochet and into the next two stitches we're going to work a half double crochet so we've got three stitches and then we've got our skip one and chain one up the top there so again chain one skip one into the next stitch work a half double crochet into the next two stitches work one half double crochet we're going to repeat this across chain one skip one into the next stitch into the next three stitches work one half double crochet we're going to chain one we're going to skip one and into the last chain we're going to work a half double crochet now if you've got to the end and you have too many chains don't panic, don't rip it out you can actually undo your chains or you can just crochet over them and to undo your chains you undo this knot and then just gradually work it out so just pull out the knot and do it one by one and you can actually pull out the chains so this is what it looks like we've got one stitch at the beginning well that was where we skipped some chains groups of three with a chain one in between and then one on the end so what we'll do now is we're going to start the the rounds now the project is worked in rounds and not rows and what we need to do is chain two and this is the first stitch our first half double crochet we're going to go into the spaces created on the end there and we're going to work a half double crochet again into that same space work a half double crochet chain one into that same space work three half double crochet Once 
what we're going to do now is we're going to skip over to here. Now on the end we will have three groups of three half double crochets but I'm going to put the last one in when we come back. So I've done my chain one, I'm going into the next available space and I'm working three half double crochet. The reason we're using three half double crochets for this project and not double crochet, we want the stitches to be a little bit um, more compact and that will help keep the heat into our hot water bottle. So we've chained one, we're going into the next space working three stitches. So they're all half double crochet for this project, but I'll just say stitches so I don't have to keep saying half double crochet. I don't know if you can hear it, but it just started absolutely pouring here of rain. And the next door neighbour was mowing his grass and he just got really wet and I just saw him run. <laughs> run inside. I shouldn't laugh because it would be horrible. So I've chained one. Go into the next space for three stitches. Chain one, into the next space, three stitches. So we're repeating this all the way across, no matter how many you have. Chain one, and into the last space, which is over here, we're working three groups of our three half double crochets. So it's one. Get it all right, here we go. So that's our first group, so it's chain one. And if you need to, you can just pull that over there. Again, three half double crochet, chain one. And, and this uh, second group here, we want that to be at the end of our work. So if you can, just make sure it's, so at the moment it's at the top of our work here. But when we turn it side on, it's actually at the end. And that'll just sort of keep your stitches all in line. So we've done our chain one, three stitches in that same space again. Chain one. And now we're going to work down the other side of our foundation row, which is here. And we're going to work in all these spaces. And we're putting three stitches and a chain one in each. So I'll just speed up a bit and then I'll just keep the camera going. You might be able to hear the guy like mowing the lawn actually, it's still going. It's still raining. Okay, so this now is our end space. So we need to do three half double crochet in there and a chain one. And because we already did the first two groups, now we just join into the top of the half double crochet. Oh, sorry, not that. We're going to join into the top of the chain two. Sorry about that. So the second chain, you're going to put your crochet hook through and then we're going to join. And because we've added three groups in there, it actually it, it classes an increase because we've put three in there instead of one. So what we can do now is you can change colour. If you're changing colour, you won't need to slip stitch across to the chain one space. You will just finish off your colour there. So we just need to slip stitch across. And actually in this project, when you're changing colour, you, you don't really need to change colour in the last part of the stitch because you would have finished off your colour over here. You need to sew in that end. Trust me, sew them in as you go. Don't do it all at the end or you won't want to do it. And then join your new colour in here and you're going to... I'll just quickly show you with that other colour. You would go in with the crochet hook, grab your new yarn, pull through 
and then you'll continue on with what we're doing in the pattern. So you would go chain two, go into the same chain one space for two stitches, chain one, and now we don't do three on the end anymore, now it's just one group of three half double crochets and chain one in each space around. So it's two and three, chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way around. And then when you get down the other end, you'll have your chain one spaces. You've got one there, there, and there. And then you're going to just, just do one group of three in there. So I will meet you on the next round and I'll show you what mine looks like. When we get to the end of our round, so this is where we did our chain two and started, I've done my three stitches in the previous chain one space, I've done a chain one and then we're going again join to the top of that chain two, so it's the second chain that we did, and we're going to join with a slip stitch. And this is what the end of mine look like, so see how we've got three, one, two, three, that was our first big space that we had there, and then I've come around and just done my chain ones, my group of three, chain one, group of three. And what will happen, we're going to get our hot water bottle, it's an extreme close up, we better zoom out a bit, there we go, and pop it this way. So what will happen, let's see if we can do this without making it look totally ridiculous, pop that on there, it's only really small at the moment, but we'll fold around and see how because we increased it just on the ends there, you can see that, well, I hope you can see it on the camera, I can see it where I'm sitting but I'm getting a slightly different angle. You can see that it's going to come up and come around the sides and don't forget crochet stretches a little bit so that will just stretch out enough to get our hot water bottle in there. So that looks really really cool. So what we need to do now is we're going to repeat the last round that we did and because our sides are straight that makes it awesome because we are going to crochet until we get up to let's say where it just starts to curve over so I'm going for about there about here because it just starts to curve over then we're going to pick up, pick up our smaller crochet hook and um, for me that is a come on focus the 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and we'll do a couple of rounds, but I will show you what we do when we get to there and um, then we can make the top part of our hot water bottle cover. So happy crochet until we get to there and I will see you in just a moment. In real life it might be about an hour's time, but in the YouTube land it will be one second. Once we have our crocheted section long enough and I'll just show you how long mine is, I've just lined it up down the bottom so it's flush with the bottom and then this is where it starts to curve inwards so that's where it's up to at the moment so what we want to do is we want to pick up our smaller crochet hook I'm using the 4.5 and now what we want to do is continue on making the same rounds that we've been doing but just with the smaller crochet hook. So I've done one round with my smaller crochet hook and now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch across and we're going to work our round but we're not going to do the chain one in between the shells. And what this will do, not doing the chain one so we've done our three stitches and then going straight into the next one. By not doing the chain one it will make this round tighter and also by using the smaller crochet hook it will make it tighter as well. 
So what we want to do is I think I'm going to just work two of these rounds then I'm going to try it on my hot water bottle and see where it's coming up to and then see if I need to work any more or if I need to start the neck part of it so where the neck of the hot water bottle is okay so I'm just gonna like I said just do a few more rounds and then I'll show you what I've got up to to get your hot water bottle into your cover I'll show you how to do that so I work two rounds with no chains and as you can see it's made it narrow at the top so to get it in there try and get it in this way it's going to stretch this opening so what you need to do is just fold it together and of course you would do this when it was finished but I'm just showing you how to do it and this way we can try it on to see if it fits and then just let go of it and your hot water bottle will expand out so I just want to make sure it's straight oh this looks so cool <laughs> okay so as you can see and it will stretch so you will need to like push it up so as you can see that's pretty much right that looks so cool so we've got two options now I have made here's one I prepared earlier and don't worry about my ends that aren't sewn in because this was my practice run here is a green one and what I did with this one I made uh, looks like I've done yeah half double crochet around the top there but I did find that this was a little bit too big for the top so I'm going to change to single crochet but my by all means you can use half double crochet but you might want to use a smaller hook again because um, I'll show you how that one looks on there so here it is in there and we make a, dra a drawstring for it and this one is actually too big for the hot water bottle so there's actually one less um, shell along the bottom where we started but that's okay because you know it still works I've, I've used this many times so see how it's a little bit loose it will be a little bit tighter because we've made I've made a smaller one but the half double crochets are quite loose so if you wanted to use a single crochet you could do that you could also go with the granny stitch like we're doing and you could drop down another hook size that would work and then just make the last few rounds because now we're making this section like the top bit we're making this section now so you could drop down another crochet hook size and you could just keep going with the granny stitch but I'm going to go with the single crochet to see how that comes out and this one I did half double crochet so let's get it yourself organized grabbing make sure you're picking up the small hook and not the big one otherwise it's not going to work properly so we've joined the end of that round and if you're wondering what that is it's a glass bowl <laughs> it's where my yarn sits so it doesn't fall off the table especially if it's little odd bits that I'm using in a project so what we do is we chain one and we single crochet in every stitch around so we're just going into the top all the stitches so if you'll drop down another crochet hook size let me know how that worked out for you I'd love to hear that in the comments and that would also help other people as well so you can adjust this pattern to what you want I think it would look really cute with all the granny stitch so if you've made one please share your creation on our Facebook page if you're not already over there the link is in the description box for that also if you need to wash your yarn to make it softer I have a video for that the links is also 
in the description box. I wash quite a few of my projects and it makes it really soft. So work this around and I will meet up with you when we are back at the beginning when we started our single crochet. So I'm back where I started and you can join here, you can join into the first single crochet. So you'd go in, why is that not working? Go in and pull through and do a slip stitch but you could get this seam and I don't like it. I've used the half double crochet on this one and I don't know if you can notice it but there's a seam that goes up. I can notice it off camera probably more than what you can see it on camera. Does it even stand out at all on camera? I'm looking for my viewfinder hoping that you can see it. Well I don't like it so what I'm going to do is work it in a spiral but you are more than welcome to to uh, to join each round. So what you do instead of joining you just single crochet in that first single crochet of the previous round. If you're doing a striped top you may want to join each round because um, you will notice your colour change if you're working it in a spiral. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on until this single crochet section is long enough to cover up the neck and I will show you what it looks like on the hot water bottle in the next video clip. So I finished this part of the top of the water bottle and once I put my tie on it's actually going to come past the bottle. So that's just about right. So that looks awesome. So now we're just going to finish off. So we're just going to cut our yarn. My scissors have disappeared. Found them. So we can cut the yarn off. And then, don't mind my stitch marker. We're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then just finish that off. So we're going to just pull through and then we can sew in our ends but I'm not going to show you how to do that because you should know how to do that. If not there's plenty of um, videos to show you how to do that. So the next part, let's zoom out a bit, we've got our hot water bottle cover. It's looking awesome. So now we want to make a chain. So grabbing your yarn. I'm just seeing what I did for the other one. Yeah, it's just one um, strand. You could use two strands. That would be okay. And now my crochet hook disappeared. What is it with things disappearing today? So you're going to make your slip knot and then we're just going to make a chain. And there is really no measurement for this, it's just so it's long enough to go around the top of the water bottle and be long enough to tie in a bow. So you're just going to make your chain and then we'll show you how to put it on. And just in case you were wondering, I am using my smaller crochet hook. So I've got my chain and it is 48 centimetres long. That's unstretched and it's about 19 inches. Just in case you wanted to know how long mine was. So then I'm just going to cut my yarn and just pull that out and that will secure that off. I just want to make sure my ends are the same length. You could sew them in if you like. And then we are going to weave in the chain. Now if you have your seam where you've joined each round, put that at the back. I don't have one because I've worked in the spiral which is the beauty of it. And we're going to weave our chain. You could weave it into the last rounds before your single crochet or you could do it into the round below. It's up to you. So we're going to look at it and we're going to find the middle opening which is about there. Oh, 
I'll have to do this left handed. We're going to put our chain through. That feels really weird using it left handed. And we're just going to do this all the way around. Probably use your fingers. But it is probably actually easier with a crochet hook. Be a lot easier if I wasn't in front of the camera. So we're just going and weaving it. In and out and <laughs> spit it out. In and out of the holes and I will back we I will be back after I get my tongue out of a knot when we've gone all the way around. And here is my finished hot water bottle cover. I love this. That looks so awesome. And it would be also great in different colours as well. So it would be a great scrap project. I hope you share your creation on my Facebook page. I would love to see the colours that you have used. Please subscribe as there will be plenty of more videos to come. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share it with your friends. We have a newsletter now on Bob Wilson 123. You can get all the links that you need for everything I've discussed in this video and it is in the description box including the free written pattern in case you need to make another one. Thank you for watching like again, uh, like again, like I said again I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and until next time happy crochet.